OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma filed for bankruptcy in New York late Sunday, succumbing to pressure from more than 2,000 lawsuits. The company is accused of helping to fuel the deadly U.S. opioid epidemic. It says it's reached a tentative settlement deal that could be worth more than $10 billion. Sunday's Chapter 11 filing was a long-expected move aimed at settling the widespread litigation. But the legal battles aren't over. At least two dozen U.S. states haven't committed to the settlement, seemingly stuck over who's responsible for a health crisis that's led to nearly 400,000 deaths. Thousands of cities and counties and nearly every state have sued Purdue and its controlling Sackler family. They claim both the company and family made billions by aggressively marketing painkillers while misleading doctors and patients about the risks of addiction and overdose. Some opposing states question Purdue over its $10 billion valuation of the deal. They also want the Sacklers to guarantee more of their own money will go towards a settlement. Sources close to the deal's terms say the family has offered $3 billion in cash and another $1.5 after selling another company they own. In a statement, Sackler family members said they hoped those opposed to the deal would change their minds. Purdue and the Sacklers have denied allegations.